Hey guys, thought we'd take a couple minutes to talk about tires and the specific application for the tires. Like a tire that's good for the rocks or a tire that's good for the snow and the mud and the sand. Got a tire that's more of an all-terrain style tire, tire that's only for trailer use and a good highway tread style tire. We're even going to show you how to repair one without taking it off the rim. First is your highway tread style tire. Now this has more of a straight groove and that's just to disperse the water because that's really all this is used for is just being on the road and getting rid of the rain water that's on the road itself. Plus you got to look at the condition of the tire. It's got weather cracking inside of here which means that the UV rays have actually broke down the composition of the tire. So this tire we should definitely throw away. And up next is a trailer style tire. Now this is for trailers only. This is not made to be a drive tire or a steer tire. This is made for a high load capacity like you would have on your trailers. The tread design is pretty simple, just kind of like your highway tire, straight through just to get rid of most of that rainwater. Otherwise, these are great tires, but they're only designed for your trailers. Next is an all-terrain style tire. Now these are good for you weekend warrior guys out there. They can go through the sand, through the mud, through the dirt and rocks. They clean out easily, which means when you're spinning your tires, it's actually throwing all the stuff away from them. And the good thing about them is that they're reasonably priced. They're found on most trucks and SUVs, and a lot of you guys out there are running them. And next we have a mud and sand style tire. Now this has really deep grooves that are spaced far apart. That, so when your tires are spinning, it's really throwing the stuff out of your way. This is also a directional style tire, so it's only made to spin in one direction. So if you mount this up backwards, it isn't going to perform as good as it should. And lastly, we have a rock crawling tire. Now these have really deep treads that are spaced really far apart, and the tread comes around the side. So when you get into sticky situations, you can get yourself out. They also allow you to air down because they have a really heavy sidewall. Now that means you can let some of the air out of the tire and actually make your tread pattern wider and that will help you when you need it. Repairing the tire on the rim is pretty simple. First you have to remove the object that punctured the tire. Secondly, use the reaming tool to make the hole large enough to accept the plug. And lastly, install the rubber plug into the eyelet on the tool and force the plug into the tire. And once the plug is seated, just quickly remove the tool and your repair is complete. 